1947. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47, come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I thank you. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. No way. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. All right, proceed. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hey, how you doing? Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. 
And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Please, take a seat. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. How you doing? I was wondering if you could help me. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Eventually the man's going to run out of atmosphere. Before or after he runs out of disposable work. Plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Greetings, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim, let the pros do their job.
So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Van Gogh would have been anything without his brother's money. He would have just starved alone. I'm, I'm not suggesting a revolution, but people should consider these things. Well, hope when they come to take me to the guillotine, you'll still be able to speak a few kind words in my face. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. I'll just wait for him to come back. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. I'm sorry. We have Excuse Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, I just remembered something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Has Mr. Ingram left? Mr. Kazem? You need to listen to me. Follow me.
Any news on the new guard assigned a code name Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I have to do. You don't understand. I'm military. You know that's a pretty good shot. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Can someone help me? Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Okay. You must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on, let's walk to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now. Your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. What the hell? 
Good. You are paid to protect me, not wander off. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife. And grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? Now, <laughs> that's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who could throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's <laughs> just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I know. You cocky idiot. to do with all that power. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. 